Last month, I shared with you the inexpensive Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, the ZL10 network radio. In this video, I will share with you the ZL10's big brother, the Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, ZL20 network radio. And I will do a few comparisons between these two very popular network radios. The price for the Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, ZL20 network radio is, as of today, $99. Affiliate link below. And Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, they did not send me this radio for free. I paid full price for this radio using the monies I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the members that clicked the join button or the thanks button below. So to all of the morons that continue to leave comments and declare that I am nothing more than a paid shill and that I will say anything that the manufacturers tell me to say just so that I can keep getting free stuff. Allow me to just say to those people, in the words of our beloved and late Logan Roy, fuck off. In my review of the ZL10 radio, the low-priced little brother to the ZL20, I spent a lot of time explaining what a network radio is and is not. I explained the pros and cons of a network radio, and I did my very best to explain everything so that even a 10-year-old would be able to understand. And yet, comments were still posted that made it very clear that apparently I did not explain it well enough. So in this video, my goal is to explain these things so that even a nine-year-old will be able to grasp and comprehend the words that are coming out of my mouth. So allow me to begin. The Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, the ZL20 is a network radio, a Zello network radio to be more specific. That is Zello, Z-E-L-L-O, not Zillow, Z-I-L-L-O-W, and not Zell, Z-E-L-L-E, Zello. This means that in order to use this radio, it must be connected to the internet and to the Zello network. This is very easily accomplished by connecting the radio to your Wi-Fi or to the hotspot on your phone. And this radio also has a SIM card slot so it can easily connect directly to your cell phone provider's 4G network. However, I have not tested that. So because this is a network radio, if at any time the radio loses network connectivity or if the Zello service is not available for any reason, you will not be able to use the radio. That means that in the absence of said internet connectivity, you cannot use this radio or the less expensive ZL10 radio, you cannot use this type of radio to transmit or receive directly over the air to or from other radios. This means that if you are looking for a radio to use for emergency use, a network radio of this type would not be a good choice. If you are looking for a shit hit the fan radio, this type of radio would also not be a good choice. This radio uses Android as its operating system and using this radio is pretty much the same as using the Zello app on your phone. The main difference is this radio has a radio form factor, which I will show you momentarily. And many people prefer this form factor over using their phone. Or for other reasons, many people may prefer to use this type of radio instead of or in addition to using the Zello app on their cell phone. However, it is also the case that many people do not prefer this form factor. And if you happen to be one of those people, you do not need to leave a comment to let us know because nobody cares. Hopefully now I have explained the downsides of this type of radio clearly enough that even the idiots are able to understand so to all of the idiots watching, 
Please, for the love of baby Zenu wearing diapers in his crib, you do not need to leave comments telling everyone pretty much what I just said. Now a few reasons why one may want to use this type of radio. And yes, the radio is still in the box. I promise I will reveal it momentarily. Using this type of radio, you can talk to other Zello users around the world. And you can talk to people using regular GMRS or ham radios via repeaters that are connected to the Zello network. I like to use this type of radio when I'm out in the field doing my chemtrail reporting and logging. I just connect the radio to the Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone and I can go pretty much anywhere as long as I have phone service. And I can talk to my chemtrail logging partners using the Zello app on their phones because most of them do not have regular radios. Or for example, someone using my repeater, which is connected to the Zello network, could use this type of radio from their couch in the city of Ohio and talk with someone laying on the beach in Southern California using their regular GMRS radio, all via my Zello connected repeater. For more information on how to use my repeater via the Zello network, look no further than the information section below where you will find a link to my website with details on how anyone can connect to my GMRS repeater via Zello for free. No license is needed to use this radio, which is still in the box. I will reveal it momentarily. However, it is important to point out that if you are connecting to a repeater that is connected to the Zello network, the repeater owner will usually ask for your license or call sign before they will allow you to use their repeater. And finally, if you connect this type of network radio to the Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, it is going to be using your cell phone plan's data. Talking over the Zello service does not use a lot of data, but it does use data. So when you purchase the Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, the ZL20 network radio in the box you will receive a user guide written both in English and French and when I say it's written in English I say that very generously is actually written in Chinglish very poor Chinglish the type is very small to read, and some things like these little numbered labels are virtually impossible to read if you're over the age of 40. The user guide only goes over the physical operation of the radio, and there is zero information about using Zello, so it is helpful if you already know how to use Zello. You will receive a charging cable, USB-A to USB-C, and you will receive a matching charger, one end which plugs into the USB-A side of the cable. The other end goes into those holes that you find in the walls of your home. And you will receive the Kaysen, Kaysun, Kaysun, whatever, ZL20, Zello Network Radio. On the radio, you will find a large screen, which I will talk more about momentarily several buttons. On top, you will find a flashlight, which is actually very bright, a small, non-removable Wi-Fi antenna. On the side, a push-to-talk button, volume up and volume down buttons, other buttons on the side to access other features of the radio, such as the 2-megapixel front camera and the 5-megapixel rear camera, and a charging port, USB-C, for charging the battery. The battery is a 5300 milliamp hour battery, which is relatively large, even when compared to normal RF type GMRS or ham radios. The battery does not slide in and out. It's not easily replaceable, but it can be replaced by loosening those two screws. The radio has a belt clip for attaching the radio to your belt, thereby impressing the chicks. Power on and off, home, Something else that I don't even remember what it does. I don't know what this button does. You would think that's for the flashlight, but actually I think it's this button that turns on the flashlight. One of those buttons turns on the flashlight. I don't know. 
goddamn manuals, too small to read, and a relatively large speaker and microphone hidden underneath the Chinesium plastic. The radio does feel nice and sturdy and heavy-duty-ish, although let us not forget that this radio costs under $100 and is made out of pure Chinesium, so I would be careful not to drop it, but it does feel feels more steady and solid than the lesser expensive ZL-10. The user guide says this radio is waterproof and dustproof, but on another page it also says that it is IP54 rated, which is not waterproof. IP54 means it is protected against dust and light water splashes, so it would not be a good idea to play with this radio in the bathtub. There is no information in the user guide about how to get connected to your Wi-Fi or anything else, but as you can see, it is Android. So if you have an Android phone, you should be familiar with how to do everything. If you have a real phone with iOS, you may struggle, but you'll figure it out. As you can see, the screen is fairly large, almost double that of the less expensive ZL10. And unlike the cheaper ZL10, this is a touchscreen that works very well. I almost forgot. Uh, oh, oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. The touchscreen is much easier to use than the buttons on the ZL10, but you do have to get used to the custom keyboard, which is a mishmash of English and Chinese characters. But if I can figure it out, you probably will too. I believe in you. It has the Google Play Store installed and several apps, as you can see, but it does seem to be locked down and you cannot install any other apps. And so far, I have not been able to figure out how to delete any apps. And unlike the cheaper ZL10, if you get a SIM card, you can use this as a regular phone. However, I have not tested this because I already have a phone. As previously mentioned, it does have a two megapixel front facing camera, as well as a five megapixel rear camera. However, I have not yet tested these cameras because I did not buy this to use it as a camera. I bought it to use it as a radio. When in the Zello app, you can see that it acts just like the Zello app on your phone, very similar to the Zello app on the smaller, less expensive ZL10 radio. However, because that screen is so much larger, it is much easier to use, much easier to read, much easier to see. And basically, this is just a very inexpensive Android phone in a radio form factor with a push to talk button, actually two push to talk buttons. That's the main push to talk button and the orange button on the top, which one might think is used for the flashlight, actually doubles as a push to talk button. And as previously mentioned, it is that push to talk button on the side that many people prefer to use instead of using the Zello app on their phone because they can hold this and treat this like a radio. Most cell phones would require two hands one to hold the phone and the other to press the push to talk button on the screen of the phone. Most cell phones are also much more expensive. So if you are using this in the great outdoors for something important like tracking chemtrails, if you drop it, you won't be upset as you might be if you dropped your more expensive, fancy cell phone. The incoming sound quality on the ZL20 is noticeably better than on the smaller and cheaper ZL10. I suspect that this is because of a larger speaker inside and the transmitting sound quality is also better again probably because of a larger or better quality microphone and never forget that all the audio going through zello is super high fidelity allow me to play for you an example of what this radio sounds like to someone listening on another zello radio testing the zl20 through zello one two, three, four, five. And as you probably saw with your own noise holes, I sounded just like Howard Stern.
There is not a whole lot more to talk about about this radio. It is, as previously mentioned, a Zello radio. It runs the Zello app, just like if you were to run it on your phone. However, when comparing it to its baby brother, the ZL10, because the screen on the ZL20 is so much larger than on the ZL10, it is much easier to read and the touch screen makes the ZL20 far easier to use than the ZL10 with its crude button interface. Otherwise, as previously mentioned multiple times now, this is just a Zello app stuffed into a very nice radio form factor with a touch screen and it is locked down so that you can't screw it up. So if you are shopping for a Zello network radio with a big battery and a large, easy to use touchscreen for under $100, this might be the network radio for you.